Welcome to our court, Traveller. You wish an audience with the Emperor on the topic of tactical turn-based combat? You aim to understand combat in TDRPGs such as Pathfinder, Tales of the Valiant or Dungeons and Dragons? Bing. Tick. What? Not really? <laughs> well, you shall have it anyway, as we are in a generous mood. Follow us to our war room and we shall share our wisdom. Let us start with the basics. To win most battles, you need to achieve one or both of the following goals. 1. You and your party must survive the enemy. Meaning, they must not kill you, or at least not all of you, possibly requiring you to retreat to live and fight another day. Second, the enemy must flee the battle or must not survive you and your party. Meaning, you must kill the enemy or cause them to retreat. To help achieve this, you must first understand your role and the roles of your companions during combat. There is a simple concept that will help you figure out where you stand, both figuratively and literally. It is called the Holy Trinity. No, not that one. Oh, yes, that one. On a very basic level, there are three types of combatants. There is the tank, a born defender of the weak, simple but tough, happy to take a beating so their friends do not have to. Then we have the healers and supports, ready to heal wounds, shield their friends and even confuse their enemies. Last but not least, there are the damage dealers, ready to hurt and kill the foe either from close up or far away. You must understand which of these roles best fits your character, equipment, skills and, most importantly, chosen class. You might end up acting as a combination of all these roles, but for now we will pretend that there is a clear distinction and no grey areas. Depending on which role you fulfil, your preferred positioning during combat is determined. Remember the goals of combat we outlined before? Let us put them in relation with roles of the Holy Trinity. You and your party must survive the enemy. This is predominantly the task of tanks and healers or support. The enemy must flee the battle or mustn't survive you and your party. This is what damage dealers and support attempt to achieve. Roles will overlap. Everyone can do a little bit of everything, but the specialist roles will always perform best in their given task. You need to think about which role or roles of the Holy Trinity your character will perform. Are you a tank protecting your allies and absorbing damage for the party? Are you a support or healer keeping your allies alive and in the fight while trying to keep enemies at bay? Or are you mainly going to be dealing a lot of damage and destroy the enemy? Now that you know the role you should fulfill in the Holy Trinity, it is time to talk about positioning during combat. For this, we will use my imps to illustrate. Look over yonder, a horde of enemies appears. <laughs> Worry not, they are under our command and will help demonstrate. Let us look at positioning on a very basic level now. Each side will naturally form a front line and a back line. The tanks or melee damage dealers go into the front line. Support, healer and ranged damage dealer will stay behind and make up the backline. Now consider who you are and where you should be in this setup. The front line needs to prevent the enemy from reaching their own backline. The backline supports their own front line and attempts to interrupt the enemy's backline. Thus, the beautiful chaos of battle will ensue. As long as you remember where you should and should not be, your chance of success shall increase. Let us talk about a bit more advanced positioning now that you understand the basics. You can and should use the terrain and environment to your advantage. Are there high grounds? Certain games give you bonuses if you attack from above and disadvantages if you attack from below. Can you find barriers or walls to hide behind? Maybe even furniture you might use as a makeshift barricades, such as a table? 
You could step out from cover to perform your action and step back into it to become a harder target. Depending on your game master, you should consider your surroundings just as much as the battle ahead. Always consider the following questions when engaging an enemy. Which enemy fulfills which role and is the most dangerous to us? Will these be all the enemies we might encounter here? Might there be patrols or more enemies appearing? Depending on the answers to these questions, you might not have a straightforward frontline and backline situation anymore. As the battle rages and the situation evolves, so must your tactics, positioning and possibly even your roles. Let us retire to our sitting room and summarize. To do well in tactical turn-based combat, you now understand the basic but important premises. You understand that there are different roles. Each role has a different position and tasks during combat. These are not static and shift as the battle progresses. If you are a tank with a lot of health and armor, stand in front of your party and keep the enemy away from the others. If you are a healer or support, Stay away from enemies and keep your party alive or protected. If you are a damage dealer, try and slay the enemy, especially targeting their backline healers, support and ranged damage dealers. Also, remember the following. Battles can be won without killing everyone, sometimes even without killing anyone at all. Causing the enemy to rout and retreat can be enough. Break their morale and they might just flee. Battles might not be winnable by you and your party. Retreating to fight another day can be a good strategy. Now, go out there and vanquish your foes. Still got any questions? Leave a comment and we will help you out. Fare thee well, traveller. Subscribe. 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 Goodbye.